News today's news. This is CBS News on the Hour. Your home for original reporting. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. President Biden's in Florida today and says he's committed to protecting Social Security and Medicare. Despite the repeated insistence of GOP leaders that they're not interested in cutting Social Security or Medicare, the president vows to stand in the breach. If that's your dream, I'm your nightmare. And yet, Mr. Biden says so far, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has been reasonable in their talks. Why don't we just lay out our budgets? You put yours down, I'll put mine down. And our people sit and compare them. The president won't unveil his proposals, which he says will involve tax increases on the wealthy and large corporations for another month. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. Female athletes are no longer required to fill out forms about their periods in Florida. CBS's Jim Crisula. The Florida board overseeing high school sports took the action after listening to letters from the public that called the questions, quote, humiliating, invasive, and part of a political agenda. Members of the board of the Florida High School Athletic Association also adopted a resolution that would keep most personal information on medical forms at doctor's offices not at school. Search efforts for earthquake survivors are turning grim in Turkey and Syria. Angela Kimis with UNICEF. The rescuers over in Latakia, they pulled two people from the rubble yesterday alive, but I think today there's been no good stories coming out, certainly in um, Aleppo and Latakia and Tartus. There's only been dead bodies coming out. The U.S. is sending $85 million in relief aid to get survivors food and shelter. The U.S. says China has targeted more than 40 countries with spy balloons, similar to the one shot down over the Atlantic last weekend. CBS's Cami McCormick. A senior State Department official said American U-2 spy planes collected imagery of that Chinese balloon as it loitered over the U.S. and showed it was capable of conducting intelligence collection with multiple antennas. The official also said the U.S. has confidence that the manufacturer of the balloon has a direct relationship with China's military. Southwest is back in the hot seat on Capitol Hill answering senators' questions on its Christmas time meltdown. Chief Operating Officer Andrew Watterson. Let me be clear. We messed up, and I would like to explain to you how we messed up. The airline scrapped thousands of flights before the new year, leaving passengers stranded for days. It says it's working to make sure that never happens again. And Democrats are calling for George Santos to be expelled. He's violated campaign finance rules. He's violated ethics rules. I mean, he's practically admitted to them. And he is lying about everything that we know him as a person. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty obvious the time to expel him. But now he had plenty of time to resign. And they've chosen not to. California's Robert Garcia is part of the group that just filed a resolution to remove Santos. It's mostly symbolic and unlikely to reach the House floor for a vote. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.